Hello, beautiful collective. I hope everybody's great. Um, we're going to be doing a reading. I picked up some more incense. We have Forbidden Fruit, Thailand, Pineapple Island. Uh, the Caribbean spice smells really good. We have Watermelon Martini. We have Fresh Linen. Um, we have Nag Champa and Egyptian Musk, which I've had these ones. So I'm thinking about, I got two of these, one at work. I love it so much. <laughs> thinking about the um, Pineapple Island. So we're doing the raffle. Um, tomorrow we're going to be pulling the winner. So get them in, get them in, get them in for the Oracle and the Tarot deck with two um, of my oils. Check out my bio to see what I offer. Um, there will be a link to my uh, Facebook page, Yvette's Oils, where you can, you have to send me a friend request. Um, I might have to change the settings to public, but so you guys can see, um, you know, all that I have to offer and what's in them. So you get two sample size bottles um, of your choice of my oils. I sell Zodiac sign oils. I sell my seven oils. Um, Sex, Love, and Me, which is my less libido. Um, we have, uh, this is Forbidden Fruit. Smells good. We have Facial Glow, which is all natural, like Botox. Um, we have Lunar Moon. We have more, which is a uh, woodsy grounding smell. We have, uh, Protection Oil. We have Butterfly Kisses, which is a sweet flower smell. We have... Um, Guardian Angel All Purpose Protection Oil. We have Eight Chakra, it's called Eight Chakras. It's to activate all your chakras. Um, and we have um, Uncrossing Oil, which is um, for breaking any curses, jinx, hex, or behavior pattern. Uh, kind of like the protection oil. Protection oil is when you're going out and you want to protect your energy from like psychic vampires, narcissists, or entities. Dark or dark energies, entities, things of that nature. Par more like paranormal. Also, um, these are called devil's pods, bat nuts. And they are sharp. And you can get deer eye off a of white, white, white raven witch's lair. Um, she sells them. Follow her on YouTube at White Raven. She sells those. Um, they come five and a thing for like five bucks. Um, she sells a whole bunch of stuff. She also sells these, um, different kind puts puri scented matches. I haven't used them yet. My niece and nephew, or my nephew, used them already before me. All right, so, um, comment if you want to enter into win on the raffle. Um, oh, and you'll get a blue kyanite and a green tourmaline crystal, just like when you purchase my oils. They come with glitter. $9.99, uh, $3.99 shipping, and the star-shaped flower protection roots, $9.99, $5.99 shipping. You get of your choice either a bell charm, um, a key charm, or a crystal charm. And they will come pre-prayed over and meditated. Um, and they're also for protection for energies for your house. Okay, it's like a bubble. All right, so we have on the dice number 10, we have Virgo again. We had this yesterday with the moon. Um, Leo, Sunday, the self, personality, ego, and confidence. I just got done watching the dead files. All right, so let me light my candles and we're going to get into it. I hope everybody's having a great day. I work today. I have tomorrow off. So, um, number 10s are about completion. Wheel of Fortune energy. And what do we have on the runes dice? One of the decks is a rune oracle for the raffle. And the Gilda tarot. Um, if you already have that tarot, I do have another deck as well to raffle. This is the... Kinner, I think. It's like long. Kinner. Tarot. It's on Tummy. I don't know. Hierophant. 
All right. Okay, on the dice we have Thur as Thorn, Defense, Regeneration, Reaction, and Conflict. We have the fish-looking thing. Oth Othala, what is truly important to one, source of safety, increase, and abundance. We have Temperance coming out. And we have um, Jera. The result of earlier efforts are realized. The promise of uh, success earned. So Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Genius of Sun, Priest, Balancer, and Art. And any other zodiac signs too that I see that you might be uh, dealing with or have in your chart. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn with Aries. All right. Thank you. All right, so I feel like I'm in a rush, rush energy. Maybe to get, I feel like to get messages out. So you may be um, speeding somewhere while you're watching this or something comes up sporadically out of, out of the blue. I'm a last second thing. What's coming in please? What's going on for my Sagittarius's? Ooh, the lovers, Gemini, choices, love, yeah. Empress at the bottom, Taurus energy, fertile, abundant. I also do have fert fertility oil as well, um, but and up until now, I used it this morning. Um, I had an accident, because um, I forgot I had it. But yeah, um, if you guys want to purchase that, I also have Venus love oil. I do have a lot of oils here um, that I made myself. Hecate oil, Lilith oil. Um, Van Van Oil, which is like uncrossing oil. Uh, reversal Oil. Actually, I don't have Reversal Oil. I bought Reversal Oil. Um, but I do want to make another oil called um, Santa Morte, if you work with her as a DD. Okay, we're going to pull our Archangel. I feel like my nasal and like a bad taste in my mouth, so I don't know if you guys, somebody's sick, recently got sick, came down with like a flu or con congestion. 16, change your life, Archangel Camiel. We have two of Ariel and we have six of Gabriel. Look at the chariot and then we have masculine. Yin yang energy, balance. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. What is 16? Is that the tower? Why do I feel like it's the tower? 15, 14. It is. A partnership may suddenly dissolve. Check the structure of your home. Ruled by Mars, the Roman god of war, lightning strikes the tower and its golden crown crashes earthward. Out, um, outmoded structures are smashed cleanly, leaving the way open to complete change. The tower is a card of radical transformation. A partnership may suddenly dissolve. Check the structure of your home. So this could be physically or uh, spiritually. We have two of Ariel, so two of air, two of swords. It is important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. And then we have six of Gabriel, six of wands. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotions. Okay, what is this? Change your life tower energy for my collectives. Ten of Michael, okay, taking on too much. Fourteen solutions, that's balance, Sagittarius energy, like we had. So you need more balance in your life. Something is striking an uncomfortable chord for you. I think it's that incense. I'm going to put it out. I don't like the smell of it right now, anyway. All right, it says, Archangel is a deck yell. It says, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. We have Ten of Michael that came out. So making work fun. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. 
Put the past behind you. I like that. The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom with the Empress. Um, Sagittarius energy. Wheel of Fortune. New beginnings. New beginnings. End of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. So a change for the better. I like that. Um, okay, let's see what the Six of Gabriel is about. The High Priestess, another major. Holy... Ace of Michael, Ace of Wands. So something you're passionate about, something that's going to make you happy. We have the High Priestess, Archangel Angel Haniel. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. I'm actually going to put my um, eight chakra oil on. Ah, chakras oil. Even though I feel like um, my, my senses are all open for the most part. Oh, and before the reading, I did put um, the uncrossing oil on. So, yes. Um, I offer a lot of things. The, the facial glow is a really good oil. It's All my oils have vitamin E oil in them. But um, if you're wondering... Um, cause I had wrinkles and stuff, so, and scars and blemishes and fine lines. So if you, I looked up an oil remedy, um, and I got some of those oils that, um, were required and I put them all in that. I did my research and it's a, like all natural Botox. So it's really good for your skin. It has a lot of, um, it's got like pumpkin seed oil, carrot seed oil. It's got a lot of good stuff. Let's just say that blue tansy. It's a type of flower. Um, pear, pear oil. I know one of them was like prickly pear seed oil and pomegranate seed oil, or no, red raspberry seed oil. So yeah, there's a lot of oils. Um, I have a lot of oils. So the best of the best high quality stuff goes in them. And you put it on either every morning or tw twice a day in the morning and at night. We have three of Gabriel, three of Raphael, and ace of Gabriel. So three, three, three. All right, we're going to put these up. Today's color is violet with Saturday, Zedekiel with freedom. All right, let's see. Um, we're going to use my deck and see what's coming in for you guys. It's coming in. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I used this deck, so my oracle that I made. Let's get the um, current energy in your life that uh, you need to know or be aware of for you and I speaking, so I can see what's going on in your circumstances. If I need to give you any advice or warn you of a situation that's happening now or did happen or could be happening. Okay, that's why I like to pull from this deck. Oh, narcissist doesn't care who they step on with Earth Angel. Born to shine, everybody wants you. You could have a problem. Somebody could have a problem with you. Flip it, switch it, reverse the roles as it applies to your life, your story, your situation, um, and leave the rest. We have the Emperor Aries Energy number four leadership, mental activity, domination, war making power with the Earth Angel again at the bottom. War making power, authority, paternity, fruits of toil, results of action, controlled and directed sexual drive. Funny I said fertility, right? My fertility oil. All right, we have spell work backfired, YZ, with internal youth preying on you, grudge star energy. STDs, unprotected sex. Rotten, good girl going bad, D-E-F, and the fool, Aries energy, Scorpio, new beginnings, leap of faith, cycle of life, uh, trust, folly, and strength, ignorance is bliss. Somebody stuck in the past, stubborn or childish, um, and you could be healing, resting, and recuperating, A-B-C. First, middle, last, initial, we also have D-E-F. We have someone is going to jail or got arrested, or somebody's just going the wrong way. 
with got caught, somebody snitched, collaboration, or done something illegal. Um, could have been a water sign that was involved, or this could be your energy collective. With blocked, you may have this person blocked. Car repairs. The devil energy, uh, Capricorn energy, I almost said cancer. The Empress at the bottom. So black magic, discontent, depression, illness, wrong use of force, bondage to the material, sensation, divorce from understanding. Passed on ancestors and loved ones are with you, saying they love you and that, oh, and then we have the Empress, number two. Material wealth, marriage, fertility for would-be parents, for farmers or for people in the creative arts. Taurus, Libra energy. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys at this time. Anything else my collective needs to know or be aware of? My eyes just got like really hazy and then I got like a purple energy. So some of you guys may resonate with the color lavender. Um, maybe you have that plant, maybe it's your favorite oil, um, but some of you guys may wear glasses. That's what I'm getting with that clouded vision or even clouded judgment that could be a message baby daddy paternity test the lovers there's that gemini energy but secretly in love with you crushing or obsessed feelings somebody's talking but they're not hearing the words being said maybe somebody's monotone deaf somebody may be deaf and speak sign language I'm hearing you're getting it first, folks. So somebody may be trying to sell somebody something and it's like somebody may be a salesperson that you meet or may this may resonate with you. Um, if it, you'll find that if um, it clicks, then this you'll, you have a message here. This is your story. We have narcissists, doesn't care who they step on. Playing the victim role, scapegoat, and we have on a new moon. Somebody may have done spell work on a new moon and it backfired. This person um, could have had Sagi in their chart, Sagittarius energy with the world, or was under um, the influence of drugs, booze. Okay, let's find out. Yeah, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, but it was fake. Completion, reward, success, triumph, travel, path of liberations, arrival at a state of cosmic consciousness. All right, I wanna get into the tattoo tear and being called to that and find out um, what this world energy is. Anything else? Tower, catfished or hired somebody, money, STDs, unprotected sex, the tower, change, catastrophe, overthrown ways of existing life, old notions, upset and bankruptcy, PQR. So I feel like somebody is really mad. Um, it could be this good girl, uh, rotten good girl going bad. Or somebody found out they had STDs and now they're extremely angry and taking it out on the masculine or whoever gave them the STDs. Okay, I am getting that energy. All right, let's see if um, there's anything else I need to know or pull out before we jump right into the tarot. I was actually going to pull from the what's the tea. So yeah, we're going to do that. My right ear's ringing. Air signs, water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else please does my collective need to know? I just seen open your heart. Water signs with intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Ooh, somebody's having, um, reminiscing about you and the times your sexual encounters you or your person may have pets and there could be a water sign that's a gold digger yeah, let's find out all right we have commitment so things are getting serious what else We have liar, so be careful of someone sneaky. We have challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing. 
with pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet or more love. Giving a current pet more love. We have intimacy with divorce, experiencing a breakup. We have uh, intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing with at the bottom, give it time. Everything is in, everything in divine timing, let things flow. And that was flipped over. So you may feel like you're hitting a, I don't know, it was flipped. Some of you need to let this person go. That's for some of you. Right, let's continue on. We're going to pull from what's the tea and then get into the tarot. Show me more with my collective, please. Um, the person they're thinking about. What do we need to know? Love triangle. Some of these may be um, in a third party or being put in a third party. I just seen dirty offer with uninterested, dodging bullets. So yeah, I was just thinking that some of you guys aren't um, interested in dealing with this person. Like you're turning a blind eye to it. I just got that energy. So that's funny. I'm interested in dodging bullets. Spot on, right on the money. Cause you're too busy winning. Okay. I turn a cold shoulder and some of you guys are reflecting or this is this person um, doing the reflecting. We have legal matters, we have creeping, and we have kissing ass. This come out kind of sideways, so I don't know, maybe if you're watching this person or, you know, check checking out social media or wondering about them, thinking about them, but somebody is thinking about somebody here. Kissing ass. We have legal issues, court, judges, immigration, lawyer, etc. We have haunted memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Yes, yeah, so that's, it could be you thinking about this person collective. But I really feel like my um, third eye is really activated right now. So somebody could be even uh, slandering your name. We have talking shit that came out. Could be this gold digger or somebody who always wants more and isn't satisfied, like that grass on it. Grass is greener because it's fake. This person could be fake. I am getting a feminine energy. Um, that could be the third party interference. Yeah, we have drama starter and we have thief. Rob, loss, theft, physical or emotional with drama starter. It could be both parties that are doing this. Creating tension or just, slant, like I said, slandering your name. I do, though, feel like somebody is going to try to come back and offer you something. Whether it be flowers kisses, maybe taking you out to see a movie or to dinner one night, but like I said, you might turn a blind eye, photo proof, getting evidence, so somebody could be looking you up and stalking you to see if you're still single as well. We have jackpot, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. I was just getting the Ten of Pentacles energy. I feel like you guys may be doing really good at your job. We have moving and we have shine. Your light irritates their demons. Some of you guys are moving. Doesn't have to literally be a physical location. I feel like you could be moving offices if this is job related. I'm getting dental. Some of you guys may work at a dentist office. All right, let me see. What else? What's coming in, please? Let's get some energy on you, Collective. Or, yeah, let's get um, more energy on the person that's on your mind. Let's try to connect with the person who is actually healthy for you and that you might have a chance at starting and building something with this person, not the old ex past person. If this is your guys' you know, case, your story, it's going to be different for everybody. Everybody has a past, everybody has an ex, so it's not like, you know, there's nobody out there that doesn't have these, had something happen to them, has a past. You're not the only one. <laughs> anyway, let's get your current person. Same shit, different day. Okay, I'm getting energy like they're just working. 
working day to day, nine to five, same shit, different day. Not too much going on in their life. I am getting a ball cap with regular like jeans, Wrangler jeans, um, boots, getting out of like a truck, maybe this person, brown hair. It's like a jean jacket over a flannel. Some of you guys um, may have been ignoring this person or you feel like you, you find yourself not really emotionally into this person, invested. Maybe you feel like they're boring or whatever. We have running. So yeah, some of you guys may be running, dodging bullets, like playing the field. And then we have fake accounts, fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. With wolf and sheep's clothing. Hmm. See anything else? Always partying. Somebody um, may not take certain things seriously, or they just have a really spun, like spunky. Um, they may live a hustle and bustle life, like they're never put in one spot, up, like placed in one spot. They could be always on the go, or maybe this person has a lot of friends. You know, they're like a. A regular Joe that comes into this the same store every week to get the same things you know bread milk and beer I don't know um, that's for some of you guys oh and look there we go <laughs> ball cap there you go anything else so let's see oh and personal readings I am doing personal readings right now um, $40 email me all my information is in my bio my cash app Card, my Venmo card um, if you don't have cash up and my email um, and my Amazon wish list as well if you like to make any gifts or donations to the channel greatly appreciate it it helps us it helps um, be able to make and have things of, you know to sell you guys of service um, and tutorials for my members for spell for spell work excuse me Without that, nothing, none of this would be possible. All right, and then we have unfazed. Okay, so I think we got what we needed to from this deck. Somebody's in their head, overthinking, stressed, or overanalyzing. That's why they're running from um, this person. I feel like if this is a past person, you still may have uh, very strong feelings for them, and you could be up in your head about it. Um... But as far, like, as, yeah, you still have feelings for them, but maybe you just feel like if this person is a narcissist or did treat you poorly in the past, maybe you're afraid that they haven't changed. So you already instantly think, nope, I can't do it. I can't go backwards. I can't um, talk to this person or invest emotionally because I'll only end up getting hurt you know, my heart broken in the long run. And that's not what I need over and over again. So that's why I felt that being in a rushed energy temperance, the lovers, maybe you guys see this person out while you're getting gas or out of the blue, if they live close to you and your heart gets going really fast and you're like, shit, what should I do? Should I invoke conversation? Um, you know, last time we hood up, hung out, I got stood up or vice versa, so on and so forth. You just, you're afraid you're going to repeat the same. Yeah. You don't want to get hurt again. And I, I totally feel that. Um, I do want to get from my heart shaped. I feel like with that being um, a message in itself, now I'm being called to my love deck. So we'll find out. You and the person on your mind. We have Romance, Cupid's Arrow Strikes, and we have Venus Love Oil. Don't forget, I made it on a Friday. Just the love day, love planet. Everyone, the planet's in Venus. 
We have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay, guys. Spirit's saying something, um, something bigger and better may be coming in or arising from a situation. I don't know if this is a rebirth from a same old relation, like a same person, same relationship, or if this is going to be somebody new altogether. We have a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And then we have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course with friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Okay, I was going to say, that's another thing. Maybe you guys feel like if you are or remain friends with this person, um, that, you know, either way, you'd still end up getting, getting hurt because how are you going to be friends or maybe you want to, I don't know, friends with benefits, something like that, but you don't want to be friends with benefits, but you still want to like be with a person because you still have a lot of feelings for them. So that's where it kind of gets tricky. And we're going to delve into that and see what we can find out with that friendship card. Okay. We had two more come out. We have look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way with playfulness. Bingo. I feel like that's what it is. Some of you guys need more playfulness and that's why that pet card came out. Show your pet more love. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. And then we have at the bottom, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it sim simply allows and gives. And that's, I love the serenity prayer, or the um, love yeah, the love prayer. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not hate. Um, if you look up that whole quote, I know they make like a picture frame out of it for the wall. I kind of want to get one. But yeah, I'll print one out and I'll put it on my wall so that way I can read it for every video in the very beginning because that's very important, I feel like. And a lot of people um, skim over that. Um, okay. Okay. That's one more deck. This is going to let me know where you're at currently and advice for what we were just talking about and how to proceed forward. So I can title this video Between a Rock and a Hard Place, <laughs> so to speak. Ooh, okay. Okay, justice comes out. Let there be justice. Let there be light. We have the world. Again, that's confirmation with the magician. 11, 1, 1, 1. You may be seeing 2 or 21. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11. We have the hermit, strength, the magician. And then we had a whole bunch come out. The justice card again, but these are different cards. Because these are Egyptian love tarot with uh, daily love tarot. I got the idea on horoscope.com. The tower, the lovers, so definitely have a decision to make. The high priestess, the star, new hopes, dreams, aspirations, new beginnings, the empress, the fool, and the high priestess. Oof. All right, let's read the world. The saving grace of limited control over others is the enormous control we have over our emotions. This card sends the message that just because something strongly affected you in the past, you do not have to revert to old habits that you used to cope with in the light of a similar situation. Bingo. Change the pattern today. The old situation was a learning experience. That is the only thing you should remain attached to. And then we have justice. Is the epitome, epitome of the law of cause and effect, as the saying goes, what goes around comes around. You have the insight into what is important that is going on in your life right now. In this light, weigh the meaning of the, the present condition when you see right to the heart of matters. Relax if waiting for someone else to decide, expect a fair outcome. And then we have justice twice, so that's, that's funny. We also have the hermit. 
If things have been feeling unfair in your relationships now, now is the time to right old wrongs. Indicates that you need to bring more balance to your love life. Finding a way to create a greater sense of equality in your day-to-day -day interactions with that temperance. If you find a way to compromise and negotiate, you will develop a greater sense of closeness to your partner. That's justice, the second one. Okay, and then we have the hermit with strength. You are more likely to succeed now in matters of love and romance if you follow the path to your own inner knowing. Card shows The hermit card shows that it is more important right now to pay attention to your internal guidance than to listen to advice from an external source, which always listen to your own guidance. Revelations will thrive as you take more time to for yourself, gaining a deeper understanding of your own needs. Hermit energy, four swords energy. High Priestess energy. We have the death card. All right, we have strength. Lots of things come to light in a dream today. You could dream of someone before you meet them. This card also tells you that some dreams have been within your reach and you have just refused to grasp them. Look closely because you could be taking someone important for granted. In a long-time partnership, expect deja vu experiences today. The messages and the events are sources of strength in your union. Yeah, the law of cause and effect. All right, and then we have the magician. Do some magic of your own today. And I was just thinking that. Guys, this is a swell time for magic, for uh, manifesting, um, especially for love. Today is Friday, or, well, it's not Friday, but any day is a good day for a spell. Do some magic of your own today, like penetrating facades and getting insights into dubious doors that lack credibility. Hold on to your heartstrings until you know you have met, haven't met a fickle flirt or a trickster. The magician makes us see what we want to see, regardless of the reality of the situation. He draws us in because we love secrets and mysteries, but who wants to live with them day after day, year after year? Okay, so... Let me know, guys. Hit the like button. Comment if any of the messages so far have reached you, have kind of made your that little spot in your heart tingle, or if it brought a smile to your face. I'd love to know more. And don't forget, like I said, uh, my services, my Facebook page for my oils, personal readings, and check out my Amazon wish list. Um, I will be getting very soon when I have extra money. Um, the new oracle that they're coming out with by Lucy Candivish. If you own any of her decks, like the Alice in Wonderland oracle, um, the Shapeshifters, the Shadow of the Light oracle, the Fairy Tale oracle, the Less Vampire, and the Myths, Mermaids, and uh, Myths and Mermaids, you will love um, her new deck coming out on Amazon. You can pre-order it now. It is on my Amazon wish list. It's called, I believe. Um, her last Halloween or the last Halloween and if you guys have been watching me you know that Halloween fall is my favorite time of year so I'm definitely gonna be getting that one <laughs> all right so let's see what's coming in for you guys as far as love and relationships or anything else you guys need to be aware of we have the high priestess wow the eight of swords wants to come out too with three of swords at the bottom let's see Ooh, nautical stars. Some of you guys may resonate with nautical stars. All right, yeah. Like I was saying, this situation is making you feel trapped in your head, even maybe confined because you can't come up with the decision. You can't, um, you know what you want to do, but you're having a hard time fighting what your head's telling you rather versus your heart, so to speak. We have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Very nice deck. Four of Swords under that. With the Ace of Swords at the bottom, yeah. We have the Emperor, the Eight of Cups, the Fool, the Two of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Coins. Either way, a lot of progression, a lot of movement going forward. Um, I do feel like you are in it to win it, so to speak. You got your heart set on something. You know who you are. You know what you want. Thank you. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you know what you want. You're passionate. 
your passion, where your passions lie, and the Knight of Wands. Some of you guys may have tattoos, like me. I did a lot of my own myself. I got this, the Chiron card from the Astro Star Seed Oracle, because um, I actually am Chiron. I fall under that category, which is the 13 zodiac sign. I actually have uh, flashcards. I have a Fukin video um, in my playlist, so check that out. A reading for that. And that's actually perks to uh, being a member for my channel is you get once a day a free three card pull as well as um, at your request um, zodiac sign videos. So if you want like yours and somebody that you want a reading done for that you're curious, like your persons for that week, those are perks to being a member. I will do specific zodiac sign readings. All right. And I would like to go live one to three times a month um, to discuss everything and anything spirituality related, as well as perks to being a member. Um, you can, for the spell tutorials, you can also um, request a video for spell work. I mean, you can do that at any time. You can email me or comment um, if you need any advice or help in your life, help with something certain situation um and i'm here to help that's why i have this platform this channel so just throwing that out there for you new guys out there to my channel so yeah let me know what you guys think if it's that's pretty cool i don't know a lot of other any readers that do that for their perks to their members membership $2.99 a month i follow jenny methril um fourth generation descent witch um Ireland descent, but she lives in UK, I believe. So check her out. I also watched The Broken Prophet with White Raven and Shira Star Goddess. She has really good elixirs on Etsy. Phase one, they activate the pineal gland and they make you feel lighter. They have crystal nano, uh, it's crystal nano water. So check her out as well. I did buy the phase one elixir a while ago, so check her out if you want to get that it makes you feel lighter freer and it gets you if you are a procrastinator it, it activates all your chakras and get, makes people it helps them like with manifesting things in their life and get them going get the ball rolling ace of wands all right let's get your person actually i want to get one more for your overall energy you may be even be, be talking to somebody new i'm getting that energy for some of you guys with the knight of wands Three of Pentacles, yeah. Another nautical. We have the Three of Wands, Aries Energy. Searching high and low, so to speak. Or maybe you're coming off as mysterious to people. That you are well, you know, that you're like, like in Nine of Pentacles Energy, that you're well off, you don't need anybody else. Um, you are the master of your own life, you take charge of your own life, I'm getting that with the High Priestess. Other energy I'm getting with that is that somebody um, is missing a right arm or um, somebody needs to stand up for themselves and they're keeping too much, too many secrets and this is going to worry somebody um, and scare them away rather than draw them in. <clears throat> Another message. Somebody may only be seeing your, what they want to see or their side of the story rather versus your side of the story. I'm getting that with that one side closed off, piercing. It almost looks like a sun, but it's piercing. I used to do a lot of drawing suns and dream catchers, so this kind of resonates with me. Um, yeah, I get a doubtful energy with that. Somebody may have really been hurtly, been severely hurt by somebody in the past, and that's why they have trust issues or only trust issues when it comes to this particular person. Queen of Coins at the bottom. All right, let's get the person on your mind who's coming towards you. Whether this be somebody new or um, somebody you're inquiring about from the past. The Magician and the Three of, like I said, severely hurt. Um, I'm hearing damaged tissue. Or, or uh, damaged issues. Somebody could have health problems. 
as well. Yeah, let's find out. So my, uh, another side note, my three things I work with are crystals, herbs, and oils. So if you need any remedies for anything, another thing, reach out to me as well. The Hermit, Virgo Energy, Seven of Swords. Somebody's hiding. Here's that other half of that. All right. So this person may have um, trauma, unhealed, maybe not trauma, but unhealed wounds, unhealed issues. Um, and you may be healed already. So how can, how can two people come together when somebody isn't fully healed? Let's find out more about this person. The hermit energy usually goes on an inner, you know, uh, inner quest, a time alone, a period of isolation in order to shut out the outside world to gain knowledge, wisdom from everything that they just um, went through in their journey. So I'm trying to see how that hermit card's going to um, be important here. We have the, the hangman that came out. So we have two roses on that card. Um, maybe this person, something about two may, be, may, signa, may resonate with this person. We have justice, Libra energy. Maybe they're one of two siblings or maybe they're a twin. Maybe they have two kids, this person. Let's see. But this is, these roses I feel like are important to whoever this person is. And then we have justice. All right, let's keep going. We'll get three more cards. The Empress and the Eight of Wands. Funny, I was just looking at his hand with the message. So you actually might receive a message. Um... There's an arrow, it reminds me of Sagittarius, and we have the star Aquarius energy. You may receive a message from this person. We have the Empress, very nice energy. Libra Taurus, we'll get one more. Okay, what is their intentions? The Four of Wands, they want to build a, a solid foundation with you. Um, something fit, something suitable, not like the tower where it crumbled because it didn't have, um, it had false beliefs, false ideas, or wasn't uh, built on solid foundation. Your person wants something that's going to be solid and long lasting with you. All right, let's get um, this person's overall energy, and we're going to clarify. The two that are sticking out to me is this Knight of Wands and the Hangman. With the High Priestess and the Justice card and the Hermit. So what's this person's overall energy? You have the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles for the overall. Let's get two cards, please. Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, and Five of Cups. Nine of Coins, there's a Nine of Pentacles. And I just heard it's storytelling time. So you guys may be doing a lot of Six of Cups, reminiscing childhood memories, nostalgia, re-looking back at your past. Kind of like telling stories around the campfire. All right. That may be an actual moment that you, that crosses your mind. Or a feeling of the moment, even if you didn't actually do that. Thing, you know now I'm here I just heard breathtaking escapade and I got um, like Bahama -y, um, Jamaican -y energy like Caribbean energy like the beach and the water and the crystal uh, clear water Blue water. Maybe some of you guys are going on a cruise soon. If you've never been on one. We have the lovers. 
when you may meet somebody while on vacation out and about. Ten of Swords, yeah, two of Coins. Let's get one more for the outcome. What's the outcome between this person? The King of Wands with the Knight of Coins. Okay. You may actually meet this person at first. It may be the father figure, but then you come to find out you're actually drawn to and attracted to the son. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. We have the moon under that with the star. The five of wands. Something isn't what it seems. We're going to use um, the Before Tarot. I haven't used this deck yet. I think the colors go nicely with this deck. All right, let's start out with your energy. Let's see why the High Priestess is here. King of Swords, Eight of Wands with the Eight of Swords here. Let's find out. Why is the High Priestess here with the Eight of Swords for my collective energy? Your intuition may be telling you that something's off about this person. I just seen 5121 on them for the time. Odd numbers. Right person, wrong timing. That's why the spirit was saying let things unfold naturally give this more time yeah we have the sun leo energy on the high priestess is virgo gemini energy so earth air and fire we have the devil and the fool with the high priestess at the bottom yeah somebody could still be literally going through it like toxic things have toxic patterns that they are either still healing from uh, like trauma, um, like I said, the Six of Cups energy. You know, you in order to heal, the definition of healing is to literally dig deep into where the original hurt stemmed from, where it came from, and let it go. Let all that residual residing energy, even the memories, flashbacks of the moments that you had that were trauma, um, that's why they call it PTSD. That's how you heal, you know? I don't know why I felt like that was important to say. But that's what I feel like here with the devil and the fool, is that somebody is trying to, either this is you, I feel like you have come a long way with the sun being here, happiness. You're, you've reached your, does, does, I almost said designation, destination, designation um and you're still um trying you're still putting forth the effort but with the devil here lingering in the background is creating a little bit of maybe ungroundedness or uncertainty of what the future what lies ahead in store for you and this person if this is the reading you know if you're inquiring this reading for an individual um, you definitely feel like maybe this person hasn't changed and this is what's bringing fear to the connection. So there is a little bit of noise in the background here as far as um, this person. So we're going to continue clarifying and find out. Why is the Eight of Swords here for my collective's energy? The Emperor and the Two of Wands. All right. If, if it came down to it tomorrow, you would be all on board for giving without even seeing the card, you'd be all on board with giving this person your couple love. Um, but then again, Ada Surge, you don't know where they're at. Um, so you're kind of remaining in the Emperor energy. You're kind of reserved. You're held back. You're only handling bigger tasks and, and issues that need to, that are important. You don't really, you don't sink down to a level of uncertainty but if it comes up then you ha obviously have to be forced to deal with it we have the ace of wands the knight of swords the hair font and strength 
So you've been doing a very good job at healing. Again, Ace of Cups at the bottom. Why is the Six of Swords here for my collective's energy? Like with anything, like with aged fine wine, it gets better with time. I know that's a song, but like I can relate is in, in a sense of doing my readings. I feel like I'm only getting better with time. Your intuition, when you've lived and you've experienced things and you've learned lessons, keyword learned lessons, not continuing to make the same mistakes over and over, um, which I've done that too in my life, insanity, but... Um, point is that's why the hermit the hermit is the inward journey and that's where you gain the insight the knowledge again here's the hermit so I feel like um that's why I said you now you know you've gotten to a point where you know what's worth um dealing with and what's not worth dealing with with the emperor you only deal with things when they arise if you even are dealing with anyone at all right with the emperor all right why is the six of swords here for you Ooh, the moon and the eight of swords what is that i also have the before tarot as well this is the or the after this is the before both on time you I'm glad Tommy is actually making a lot of the decks because they're actually expensive. Um, if you were to buy all of the original sizes, it's about 20 bucks a pop. On Tommy, you can get a deck for four or five bucks. So you save a lot of money. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is you living peacefully, living, moving on with your life. You know, not fretting over um, things. Living contently, living peacefully, living happily. And the Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. A lot of earth energy. You may be very grounded. Um, you may be just dipping, you know, just hanging out with friends and having fun more so or less. Going to the beach on your days off. Maybe you don't even have to hang out with anyone like me. I'm alone. I'm alone body. Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know why that came out in the eight of cups at the bottom all right let's see um i wanted to see what who this knight of wands is a little sneaky maybe a little distrustworthy but th then again don't judge a book by its cover so it kind of gives me mystery energy five of pentacles in reverse two of cups and the page of wands interesting four of cups at the bottom you may have somebody who's watching you or observing you who finds you very alluring and just your energy overall. Um, they find you attractive, but it goes beyond mere physical, I believe, physical attraction. You may have something here. You may have the start of something. It says, adorned with a medallion of the sun. Page of Wands, yeah. The page is shouting out a message. Good news is on the way. Don't be shy. Make your voice heard. Okay, so this person, yeah, may be a little shy. Let's see what the Knight of Wands says. The Knight bears the em emblem of the dragon, fury, passionate, and ready to take on the world. This is the sign of, ex of the explorer. Also signifies travel, adventure, a change of residence. We had all of those messages here with the moving card with all the other signs and funny because we are in the year of the dragon all right i'm getting 2026 maybe when you meet your person all right so let's find out um their energy i want to see why the hermit cards here lovers i feel like there is a third energy um the lovers and the king of cups and it's all a matter of debate because i feel like this person still um loves you you know they still care about you but now um
they might talk about you or your energy comes up more so than that when they're with this other person. Um, they may find themselves thinking about you a lot more than that. I don't know if it's maybe this person's energy, like this other feminine, if it's a, if the person's a masculine, um, flip it, you know, however it applies to your situation. But regardless, whenever they're with the other person, your person, with, you know, the person they're with now, I don't know if it's because they miss you and they think about you, what it would be like if that person were you instead of the person they're with now. But either way, you're popping up more um, in their energy. I feel like there's the roses. Yeah, we have the two of cups coming out because I only kept the page of wands out for them. I only I try to keep it brief so that way we can get uh, more of the cards out if, if we need them. Why is the hangman here? Queen of wands. The Page of Swords and the Hermit. Okay. Here's the Pets card, Knight of Swords. Something's going to happen fast out of out of the blue unexpectedly. Now, I'm not saying sit around and wait for this person. That's by all means, that's not what I'm saying. But uh, with the Swords, it more so has to do with air elements. So you could be um, catching them off guard somewhere or uh, running into them, kind of like that. But as far as them messaging you or them stopping in at your house, no, I don't really, don't expect that. I don't, I don't feel like, but um, this is going to be when you're doing good and you're not thinking about love. That's what I mean by unexpected. So we have the Six of Cups. So they are thinking about you because you are, if this is a past person, the Six of Cups represents the past. Let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Knight of Swords. Here we go. And Fire is Wands are the fastest moving in the Tarot. Swords being the second fastest. Cups being the third. And Pentacles, Earth Element being the uh, slowest moving in the Tarot. So the Swords and the Wands are the quickest. That's why I said quick. Why is the Empress card here for this person's energy? It seems that maybe the time apart from this person has taught you guys a thing or two. I'm also getting sunflower energy as well. I know a couple weeks ago I talked about finishing up my sleeve getting sunflowers, so that's pretty cool. That I just noticed that. The Empress again at the bottom. Very nice. I think that's a sign to the Empress. Yeah, they see you as the Empress. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. See what the four of wands. There's four of wands here. This is the soulmate card. 11, 11, eight of wands, nine of wands. Okay, that's that insanity card. Don't um. Don't keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. If something doesn't work, try a different way. My sister always used to tell me that, and it stuck with me. Sometimes you need a, a outside third person's perspective, um, or to hear it from somebody else for it to actually click with you. 3-3 three, three on the screen. 1-3. Three, 3 minutes and 3 seconds I just seen. So we'll see what the 1-3-3 three, three is all about. Out of my angel number book. That's why I have it. 5 below, guys, if you're interested. 1-3-3. Three, three. Says, channel divinity. Be someone's angel. There is a person who needs your unconditional love and assistance. What is a selfless act you can provide today that will help this person feel the divine in themselves and around them? Channel your angels and be inspired to help another person. And then we had 1111, so 111. Screenshot. <laughs> we had that card too in the What's the Tea Tarot? Pause and reset your thinking. When you see 1111, think of the universe as taking a screenshot of your frame of mind right now. That's what I think of when I see 1111. Everything that is going on, all your thoughts, feelings, goals, and dreams is going to be replicated. Get on a high vibe quickly so you can manifest your best life moving forward. Repeat the mantra, I am in alignment, in alignment with my authentic self. I am in alignment with my authentic self and then we have 112 which is standing out to me love abounds love unlocks all doors 
When you look in the right places, you will find that love exits exists everywhere. Your angels call upon you to envelop yourself in the forces of unconditional love in order to manifest your highest goals. Visualize a light covering your entire being, filling you with the powerful forces of the universe and making you one with the divine. When you do this, you will feel loved. And I got um, from horoscope.com one of the love cookies. It's like a fun little game at the bottom site map. Um, the tarot's. It's called Love Cookie, um, and then there's just a regular cookie, fortune cookie. You click it, and I would always do three a day. That's actually how I learned all the major arcana in the decks was when I was in middle school and high, sc well, high school. Every day in art class, I would sit on the computer and read my horoscope and do my love tarot. So that's actually how I started learning all the majors, was feeling the energies every day, and I would do so many of the tarots. I would actually get my friend's zodiac signs so I could feel their energy and what it would be like to be in like say Libra energy or my own energy Sagittarius you know what I mean so that's how I learned Tara and how I got into crystals was in Florida I actually this woman gave me my own I she just randomly out of the blue gave me like a handful of different crystals she told me what they were one was like Mulekite Jasper um Nephrite Jade or Infinite I still have it I call it, the, she calls it the fairy stone. And anyway, so that's how I got into crystals. And then I actually started going to a psychic to get my tarot card read in a psychic medium who told me she's seen Archangel Michael with his wings behind me. I wrapped it, but it wasn't wrapped when I got it. Um, with his arms around me protecting me and she said I've never seen she's like I rarely see Archangel Michael do that so that's a sign that he I am protected and that's why I work with angels not because why but I work with angels a lot so it's just a coincidence or no I don't believe in coincidences but anyway so we have the knight of pentacles the magician so a little bit of stuff with the four of wands so this person is indeed coming in or they plan on Letting the cookie crumble, so to speak, to see what happens with you guys, if nature's going to do its course. But according here to the magician, the magician has all the tools and resources to get things off the ground if they really wanted to. But let nature do its course. Let things flow and evolve the way they're supposed to. Oh, that's what I was saying with the my favorite quote, is when you feel love from both sides of... Um, your being that's when you know your it's love and when there's a tickle around your heart you can't scratch so yeah really check out that horoscope.com go to site map at the bottom very very bottom um, and the little writing and then um, look at the love fortune cookies and all the different things they have to offer on that site um, it's really cool it's cute they got the Buddha belly, rub the Buddha belly and click it. They got the magic eight ball. They got a whole bunch of stuff. So ten of swords, ooh, they're feeling the pain from this ending. Six of wands. All right, so let's get your overall energy before we wrap it up. There's in the outcome. The tower, the temperance. Why is the three of pentacles here for my collective's overall energy? You could find yourself probably wanting to connect with them um, and be friends on a friend level. I mean, obviously, you know that there's probably more to it, or if it goes further than it's meant to. But you still, like I said, you still have a lot of love and passion for this person, this situation. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles. You want to give equally to it, to the Swords. But you know that's divine timing is at and has its hand in it so you, there's nothing you can do right now two of pentacles yeah all right let's see why the ace of wands is here for you seven of swords justice strength and ten of pentacles yeah you just feel like somebody you know that we have ace of swords at the bottom Seven of Swords, you feel like 
you can't invest your energy back into that person, like I said, because you're going to get hurt. Seven of Swords is a sneaky, um, trying to carry more than you can handle. Um, you're just going to... It's a recipe for disaster, basically, if, you know, if the other person isn't going to change or look at themselves. And it's not so much more about the other person, it's about you. Um, yeah, I kind of contradicted myself with that. I mean, yeah, you have to know better if a person isn't going to change. Simple as that. And one to draw the line for good. All right. Um, let's get their overall energy. Why is the five of cups here? We have death. Why is the queen of pentacles here? The world. Three of swords, strength, and the five of pentacles. So they actually may feel like you left them out in the colds and this is really hurting them. I almost feel like it's bothering their pride, their ego. I'm hearing selfish. This person may have been very selfish to you in the past. They may not reciprocate it equally with you, emotionally and physically. I want to get one more for this death card. In the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is being, is, um, hurt, crying over spilled milk, and sorrow, grief. Five of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, this person may have had an ego. Everybody has an ego, but it depends on how big their ego is. If it, got, if it was too big, that would be a cause to get in the way of this connection. Alright, so Page of Cups. Somebody may eventually... We have the Death card and the Ace of Swords. Real, start to see thing from, things from your side of perspective. Again, I wouldn't count on them. I wouldn't count on anything or have any expectations. That's just me simply putting it as that. That they are at a truce with you. They they may have forgiven you or settled the debt. The thing, the energy that has been cleared. Um, whatever grudges or you know energies they had against you holding against you they may be like you know what life's too short or whatever the case they i feel like it's cleared five of cups queen of pentacles four of cups for the lovers why is what what's the outcome clarify the king of wands for the outcome high priestess page of swords Somebody may have a lot of cats. I'm getting like a really strong smell of like cats. Like a lot of cats. Stinky. High Priestess and the Page of Swords with the Seven of, or uh, Nine of Cups. Justice. Spirit of Sin, continue working on you. Like I said, when you least expect that something better will, something good will come along. All right. Take care now. Stay blessed. Till next time. Bye-bye.